Ich bin ein Gerät! I did a kite loop and I fucked my rib up and the, the, this went like this. My harness went upward. Yep, it's right here. Yeah, thank God. Thank God. It's been five days since my rebreak on my ribs on the actual defuse. Right in this area right here, they defused and also in, in the back part of my spine, they also defused and uh, also right right in this area. It's from the kick in 2012 in my garage when I was uh, defending my uh, AR-15. So basically it was uh, to keep shots from being fired in my garage and losing my gun rights because my ex-brother-in-law, Justin Westbrook, wanted to go ahead and get crazy, kicked me in a couch, couldn't handle this uh, self-control, and uh, kicked me where I flew backwards, and my whole chest got caved in pretty much, and I, and I survived. <clears throat> but I was rendered puking every day because nothing healed right, and it just threw everything off of my whole body, so now I got the actual answers of what happened to me, plus of what the system did to me, too, prior of 2000 with all the drugs and everything that were induced to me that were against my will so anyway um my mom has got a request to georgia regional hospital on a file to go ahead on my file to go ahead and get it i sealed it only for me to receive an attorney so that was back in 2003 i had done that so yeah i've basically set my whole stage if you will i was very smart about what i did and um you gotta be able to cover your tracks, when, especially when the stuff is falsely said about you. So I'm really curious to see what the file says and what the dosage was. Is it was a cocktail of death that was served to me, and also the people around me that died around me. So I found out that there were 110 survivors back in 2010 that came out of that Georgia Regional Hospital, and here it is, 2020. In 2016, I had three months to live. So I was pretty pissed off, you know. Um, so as far as the way how I took my flying, now you see that I just, I gave it my all, literally. So it wasn't to be the best or anything. I could care less about that. It was mainly to hold my truth 
because if it wasn't real, I would have already died. Permanently died, died. I wouldn't have come back. So, you know. Anyway, through the power of Yahweh, God is an invisible force everywhere and everything God is. You can't see God. God has no face. It's just pure power. It either works in a good way or a negative way, as like the triangles go, good and evil. So, you know, hopefully you choose wisely. I went with the upper power triangle, so. Anyway, you all have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. And my ribs, again, they're almost healed as I continuously sit here and puke in my pain. So I've had a lot of blood come out. So anyway, I'm just hanging in there. God bless. Amen.